Good morning everyone. We are here today at Calypso Cuisine and we are going to do polori. So this is all your basic ingredients. We have the flour, we have five pounds of soaked dal, we have all the seasoning which is bandania, garlic, pepper, pimento. I have here turmeric or saffron, baking powder, salt, jeera, basic water and with my grandal I like to put one pack of split peas or two pack of split peas powder because it kind of gives a little flavor. But my basic is fresh dal. Okay? And here is my yeast where you put a little bit of sugar on it and you put not boiling hot water and not cold water so the temperature should be warm. So this is the warm water in the yeast. Gradually you'll see that rising up by itself. Okay? I typically add all my dry stuff to the flour, baking powder, salt, and jeera. Okay, now I always put the saffron in water, which is very important. Okay, that's that. Now I'm going to grind the seasoning and I'm going to grind the peas, and I'll be right back to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. I like to use food processor, so the seasoning is always nice. As you can see here, nice and grainy. Here I am adding that grinder from Trinidad, as you can see. I just like my little grinder flavor. But main flavor, as I tell you, is this from soda. This is the seasoning. When you grind up everything together, the bandania, the garlic, the pepper, the pimento, or cointreau as they usually call it. I just want everybody to understand the names of everything that I'm using. And now I am going to grind the peas. I usually soak the peas um, overnight for like five, six hours. So you get a nice texture and it's not going to be too hard. If you don't soak it for a while and you dry it, it, just, it doesn't get soft enough. And you want it to be, you don't want it to be mushy, but you want it to have the texture and the color. So this now is the texture of the dog. You see, it's soft and grainy but that that you know the texture and quality if you look at it it's not grainy grainy but the grains are there so you know when you're eating dal this is what it's all about so i'll be doing this like four times to finish up all the dal and then we're gonna go out there. okay so now this is your peas here grind up and the seasoning is right there with everything else and this is what the yeast looks like before you use it okay I pour in it in the water All right and the color of the water is because the turmeric is in here okay and then I put it in here now the texture of polari flour is very very important you can't make it too mushy because if you do it's going to Soak up the oil and then the polari fry is very greasy. So you have to know the texture which is going to be not watery but not too dry. So when I'm finished mixing, I'll let you see exactly what it looks like. So literally what I do is add water while I'm mixing a little at a time. If you watch exactly what I'm doing, this is it. And I keep turning and spinning. See, it's not very messy. I never let flour go over my wrist. I keep mixing, spin the basin and mixing, literally. And the reason why I'm doing this big amount is because we have a birthday party today. 
and someone will be picking up this at the restaurant later on so you mix it now and you have it and that's why it's so important you know you see if you look at the texture is coming in everything is coming together see the cut of the polari the seasoning the dal and as I tell you I add the water a little at a time because you don't want it at all to get too watery it's gonna be really hard to do if it's too watery See, this is how you mix polari and it doesn't take that long a couple of minutes and this is what it's all about but this is a little bit too dry so I'm gonna add a little bit more water you watch how I mix you can also use this and make bigani with it it comes out really good because of the dal in it, all you do is slice some bigan and your polari becomes a bigan. The dal is the changes of all of it. You don't have, you don't even realize this polari have that flour in it. See how it's there? Okay, one little more drop and we're good to go. See, if you look at my hand now, watch how it's rolling. This is what you want, okay? The texture, the mixture, everything comes together. This is the famous polari that we had in New York for over 25 years at our restaurant. Everybody would come to Did you make dal polari today, auntie? Say yes, dal polari every day, sweetie. Oh, like an uh, A lot of people cater stuff from us, so that's why when we come to the restaurant, it's always a big order to get done. Okay, and this is it. Now I have the spatula here, and I just take off the excess flour from my hand, cover it up, and in less than um, half an hour. You can fry it. It doesn't have to stay for hours or whatever. As long as you mix the right quality, you put your ingredients, and as I showed you, the yeast, I put the little sugar on it. By the time you put that warm water, in less than five minutes, it's a full bowl of yeast. Okay? So this is what we have here. And Polari is ready. So guys, I would like you to take a good look at this video and closely and you will see everything they've done. Everybody who's in love with Ripolari SNA in New York and now the Calypso Cuisine, this is what you get all the time. We don't cut corners, we always make sure we have the full amount of seasoning, dal, everything. So I would like you guys to like, share, subscribe, have a wonderful day. Come to Calypso Cuisine for the best polari ever. And if you need me, Google Calypso Cuisine. Call me. I'm always available. I answer everybody call. I'm here for you all. Love you guys and have a wonderful day. So, it takes 45 minutes to rise. That's all the stuff that it needs. And look at the pot. This is what you get. your hand in a little water and it slides out really easy. Ready? Simple and easy. You don't pick up and roll over or not. You just slide in the water. 